Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Gemini, let's see what's the message here for you today. Uh, the last one, the last love bite for the month of uh, January, Gemini. Uh, let's see what's the message here. And please know uh, these are general collective readings. Huh? They will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So Gemini, all right, okay. Uh -huh. Somebody wants to talk and rebuild, but okay, a lot of disappointment here. Bottom of my deck, page of wands. Somebody wants to send a message. Somebody wants to send a message. Maybe they're stuck thinking of how to send this message now. They feel uh, they feel even if they give an apology. Apology would be not good enough for whatever's happened here. Maybe this was a third party situation or something. Somebody does want to talk though. They want to clear the air. They want to rebuild because they're feeling they're losing out on a very strong connection. They're very disappointed. Very, very disappointed because... I think the Queen of Swords, this is an equal pair, but the Queen of Swords is looking away from the connection now. I think that's why this King of Swords is upset that, you know, I've lost my happiness. So let's see. Let's see whether they will send the message or not. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course, uh, gems. But first, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other now, what that would be. And then I'm going to clarify these. Gemini and that person spirit if they could say something to each other now. What would that be? Thank you Just a few more Gemini from another deck and if any of you looking for personal readings gems um, February would be the last month. I'm taking personal readings March I will not be taking personal readings because of some personal issues if and when I do begin in April I will let, let you know so February would be the time if somebody needs an urgent reading Gemini and that person spirit. Gemini and that person. All right. Good to go, gems. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I wish I could have loved you the way you deserved to be loved. My pride and ego led us astray. I'm your not so secret admirer. I know that you know that I'm always checking up on you. The thought of being with you one day is what gets me through today. I would like you to meet my friends. I want you to be involved in all areas of my life because you are my world and I want everyone to know. You will always have a special place in my heart nobody else can fill. You're always in my dreams. Your indifference could be the difference as to whether I continue to invest in our relationship anymore. Your ego is effing irritating me. Can't you see the value I would add to your life? If only you would just let me in, we could be a strong power couple. I know that I shouldn't compare others to you, but I just can't help it. You're a tough act to follow and absolutely no one measures up. No matter, no matter what has happened between us, you are still the one. All right, Gemini, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with our angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Gemini. And the card I have here for you, Gemini, is you're a leader. <laughs> okay, maybe somebody needs to take the lead to get this connection moving. So, well, if you're the one who's standing up for yourself and saying, I'm not going to take, you know, bullshit anymore, then you are leading the way to the other person maybe learning a lesson. So, Gemini, I don't know which side you're on, but then my angels say you're a leader. Okay, so Spirit, let's start the reading. Let's start with the first card, which is the Hanged Man. What's this? What's the Hanged Man? Is this connection come to a stagnancy? 
Yeah. Yeah, somebody is wondering now whether there is any possibility of a reconciliation. They're trying to th see things from different perspectives, wondering. This person is still spying, by the way. They're still spying. This is like that secret admirer, wondering whether there's a third party on the other person's side. Is there a possibility of a reconciliation? Should I give an apology? Should I, will, will my apology be accepted? Mm. They're not sure. They're not sure their apology will be accepted. They feel that their person has dropped them. They feel because of their past behavior, maybe they came across as a bit of a player or a, you know, immature person who was only in it for sex and passion. I think whoever this person is, is now seeing it from the other person's point of view. They are now understanding why they've been dropped and uh, very worried that their apology will not be accepted. They will not get a reconciliation. So yeah, this could have been a third party situation. This is three of pentacles, three of cups in reverse. And I had another three of cups in reverse here. So this person could have been a bit of a player in the past. I think somebody is coming to the realization that no wonder, no wonder I've been dropped and I'm not sure whether, you know, apology is also good enough now. So King of Swords, since you're sitting very handsome with your sword up, in the upright, I'm going to give this King of Swords the mic. Let's see what this King of Swords wants to say to the reading. King of Swords has the mic. Gemini, King of Swords. King of Swords says, I've become clear about one thing that I do want to have a long term partnership with this person. Um, they feel, okay, one more. Maybe they were confused in the past. Yeah, this King of uh, Swords was confused in the past. Maybe they wanted to stay single or see if the grass was greener on the other side or have options. But now they've recognized, no, I do love the other person. I have a big cup of love to give them. In fact, I want to have a Ten of Pentacles with them. For a while, I think this person was enjoying their freedom as a single person, always, you know, checking out what else, what else. Now they're recognizing, no, this is this connection was incomparable. I do want to have this. Yeah, they want to start again. They want to take a leap of faith to say, can I have a new beginning, please? Can we rebuild the tower that has been now blown apart? What's the tower in reverse? What's the tower in reverse? Tower in reverse. They're very attracted to the other person even now, but um, as much as they don't want, they, this person wants to have another chapter. They don't want this connection to end. Somewhere they feel that the choice is not with them anymore because their person is upset and angry with them. Or this could also mean that means they would have to make a choice to wrap up something with somebody else. Okay. Four of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Somewhere they feel, they are, they are I think they're a bit scared also. They feel that their person has already moved on. I may not get this uh, commitment now they feel all their lying cheating behavior they did or this breadcrumbing they did or the lack of equal give and take what they did whatever sneaky behavior i think somebody is going through a huge realization this is that epiphany oh my god what did i do what did i do i think i've lost my person and everything's backfired on me now because they're sensing that that person could have walked away or may not agree now they're very disappointed Seven of uh, Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. They're very disappointed. Why? Because I think in the past this person was very stubborn, very egoistic. Like one of the cards said, their pride and ego got in the way. They, they wanted to con have the control of the situation. Maybe they didn't want to get stuck in, you know, a connection. And then... Yeah, they didn't, they didn't want commitment. They did not, they wanted to escape committing and uh, they played games and now they feel like a loser. They feel they've lost their power. Now the sun doesn't shine anymore. 
the sun in reverse. This person is very, very depressed at the moment. Now they're recognizing the folly of their ways. They are manifesting now. What are they manifesting, spirit? They're manifesting communication. Yes, that's that was the overall energy. They are manifesting some communication, maybe some forward movement. They are afraid to do it on their own because they feel they are now seen as a very selfish individual or a very self-centered individual, always seeking attention. So as much as they want this connection to move forward, they are manifesting, you know, communication from the other side. You know, they're manifesting it, but they, they are not... They are, they are scared to take that action because they feel if I communicate first, my person is not going to be easy on me. They'll probably ask me some hard questions. They'll have their boundaries up now. So, Queen of Swords, I have to give you the mic as well. What would you like to say here? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords says they kept me stuck, they kept me chained, they kept me bound. And you know what I did? I'm the Queen of Swords. I am the Queen of Swords and I'm not going to stay stuck in a situation where I don't know where this connection is going. I have cut those chains with that sword of mine. Look at me. I've cut this connection off. This Queen is very upset and angry. Yep, and that's the reason the other person is so depressed and they're having sleepless nights and anxiety. I think they've come to that realization of all that they did and why they've been dropped. The reason for why this Queen of Pentacles has cut them out now. So Spirit, what's the Page of Wands as the overall energy for Gemini's reading today? Page of Wands. Oh, they're scared. I told you, this person wants so desperately to talk to this Queen of Swords. But look at the fear, the Moon card. They're very scared to even send that message because they messed up big time. And they're recognizing everything that they've done and they know, they know that uh, it's not going to be easy. So they are manifesting that if the Queen, I mean this Queen of Swords will message me first or come towards me first. They don't have the courage, they're very, very scared. They feel this Queen of Swords has turned their back because they really behaved not very good. This person could have been playing mind games or, you know, just creating or just you know, harsh or rude with their words. They are now fearing that this Queen of Swords has moved on to new love, which I won't be surprised if they have because this Queen of Swords doesn't play. This Queen of Swords means business. It's like, yeah, this is what they did for, did to me, Omkara Taro. I used my sword. I cut those chains that kept me stuck to this connection and I've cut this connection out of my life. And the other person is now recognizing, but they're still spying. They're still keeping a close watch on this queen, hoping that this queen will one day maybe, well, communicate with them. So that's what I have for you, Gems. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.